Man, this is a huge piece of meat. What in the heck do I do with this thing? Today, we're gonna break down this strip loin into New York strip steaks. This is called a breaking knife. You just go Google on Amazon. I think buy one for like 30 bucks, whatever it is. This will make your life so much easier, especially if you're gonna do this on a regular basis. All right, here's our strip loin. This uh, is a little tricky to get out of the bag. So again, paper, paper towel is handy. You're gonna take your knife and there's two sides, okay? This is the top and the bottom. You can tell where the, all the liquid is naturally pooling, okay? It's pooling on the bottom. So we're gonna remove it from the top, trying to keep as much of the liquid on the bottom as possible. Again, we're gonna take our knife, just take a little score, a little tiny. If it's super sharp, you can just go right through that plastic and it separates pretty easy. We're not gonna go all the way down. We're not ripping it open from the bottom. Okay, we want to keep as much of that liquid intact as possible. We're gonna reach in, slide it out of the bag while keeping as much of that liquid in there as possible. Bring back the big boy here. All right, so now we need to do a little bit of orientation. We got the top with the fat cap. We got the bottom. It has a little bit of connective tissue where bones are connected. We'll take care of that in a minute. And then we're gonna have to figure out where the sirloin end is. Now, the strip loin is connected to the sirloin. It's kind of like the, you know, the, the strip loin is connected to the sirloin kind of deal. So if you look on the ends, if you, if you look on the ends, there is this, Thing going right here it looks like a big round circle okay big round circle right here this is the sirloin end now this piece right here going through is the end of the top sirloin so right here it goes all the way through in the top sirloin so it's not really a hundred percent strip steak so you, when we get to that side we're going to talk about what we do on this side and what, how it doesn't make a very good steak if you get that big round top sirloin eye in there. So we're gonna to talk about what to do with it from there. All right, so we found the we found the sirloin then. So this is gonna be where our strip steaks are gonna start. Now I like to, there are two schools of thought in this butchery process. I like to start from my good end, the mainly strip, the, where the strip steaks are, and I also don't pre-trim. A lot of people will pre-trim a lot of this fat cap down to a quarter inch. I like to trim each individual steak. I find it's a little easier and I can control a little better. So it's very simple you, to just, sorry, you just start cutting steaks, okay? So well, first thing we have to do is this kind of trails off like this. If you can see, it kind of goes at an angle. We wanna make sure that's straight. So we are gonna look as hard as we can and find where the tip of that is, follow that with the top of our knife, and we're just gonna cut straight down to square off this steak. Now, just like that. Now, this is still very good. This is totally, totally usable. So we are gonna use that for another purpose. So now we're just gonna cut steaks. Now you want them to be about an inch, inch and a quarter. That's a typical, gonna be a typical like 12 or 14 ounce uh, strip. If you want them bigger, of course you can cut them as big as you want. That is the great thing about cutting your own meat is you can cut any size that you want. See, boom, there's our strip steak, okay? We're gonna put it over here. Once we cut them all down, I'm gonna come back and show you how to trim those up. And then when you're doing this, you're starting at the top, you're pushing the knife down and just going with little strokes here all the way down. And when you get halfway through, you're just gonna slide out the knife. And there it is. Okay. Then get halfway through, slide out the knife. Okay. See, look how pretty that looks. Slide out. Again, it just takes a little bit of practice. The good news is you can't really mess it up too bad. If your steak is not perfectly level because you didn't, you know, cut it perfectly straight, it's all right. 
We're gonna eat it, it's gonna cook the same. All right, we're gonna go again. If you wanna get crazy, you can get a ruler out. When I was working at a butcher, if somebody had, or at the butcher shop, if somebody had a specific, like I want a two inch strip, we actually got the ruler out to make sure that they saw that it was a good two inches. Okay. This is also where that big, this breaking knife really saves your life because it's really hard to do it with a small bony knife. You start getting all over the place. Then you get stakes that go this way and then come back that way and then go back that way. So this makes it for a nice straight, even cut. Now at this point, we're not worried about trimming any of this stuff. We're going to come back. We're going to trim it off. This is what I'm gonna make, just a little bit thicker. All right, so on this, this cut that I've done, you now can see the start of this vein right here. It's called a vein. It's really just the top, top sirloin that's just a finger in the top sirloin that is in this. So this is gonna be much tougher cut of meat than this right here. So as that vein gets bigger and bigger and bigger as we go, we don't wanna grill that and put that in our steak. It's just gonna be a different cut of meat. If you have a little bit, that's good. It's all up to you, but that's gonna be a little tougher than the other one. See, and here it is, there's the... Now, now that we have started to see that, I am going to stop right here. We are not gonna waste this. This has so many applications because this is still strip, okay? This is still tender. We can do all kinds of preparations with it. I am gonna show you what I have my favorite use for it is I'm gonna grind it and make the best ground beef that you've ever had is for a ground beef burger. It's amazing. Keep on the lookout for that. I'm gonna put a link at the end of the video to the ground beef video. It is so good. All right, now, now that we've gone through and cut all the steaks, we're gonna go through and trim them all up. So the thing about a strip steak is when you order it in a restaurant or get it at the butcher shop, there is a fat cap along the top. That is supposed to be there, okay? So we are gonna make this fat cap to be, we would like it like a quarter of an inch. So again, we're just gonna start shaving this down. This is your, to your personal liking, okay? If you don't, you can take the whole thing off if you want to and just have this, this strip steak. I like a little bit of fat on there. It will, um, you know, render out during the cooking process. And then, it, I mean, just, it's gonna be more flavorful steak. All this fat, this solid fat, is really good to put in our burgers. We can do a lot with it. All right, so in the tail part, we're just gonna cut this off. Again, it's just to your liking. There is a piece of connective tissue right here at the tip. Now, I don't, at the butcher shop, you left it on there. But again, when you get home, just, you can cut this thing off. This is gonna be inedible. It's almost even, it's even hard to cut. So you know it's not gonna be good to eat. So just cut that tip off, okay? Put that in our trash pile. Now, there. It, now when you go to the bottom, this is where that, con I showed you that first, that connected uh, tissue, connective tissues at the bottom where it connected to bone. So we're gonna look for the pieces like that and just take a real thin slice of that off, okay? Again, very little of the strip steak gets wasted. So here's our steak, okay? Pretty looking steak. So we're gonna go through and do it to the rest of them. I don't like to put the tip, that, that connective tissue piece, I like to put that in the trash pile. The rest of it goes in our edible waste. Okay, let me go take the bottom. Nice looking strip steak. All right, so stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna give you a quick tip on how to select a steak when you go to the butcher shop and they have them all lined out. So I'm gonna give you some tips on how to select the best strip steak. Like I said before, 
our, when we had our big strip loin. On one side, it's connected to the sirloin, okay? Well, on the other side, it's connected to the rib, where we get prime rib from, we get ribeye steaks from. We have more of a traditional strip here with the fat cap. Now, this piece came from more of that middle section of the strip loin. So it is your traditional strip steak. Now, you'll see that when we get to the first part where it's closer to the rib, it looks more like a ribeye. Now look at that steak. That kind of looks like a ribeye. Before it starts to get all the intermuscular fat in the middle, this kind of looks like a ribeye. So again, it all depends on what you, this one's gonna be kind of more ribeye-esque, okay? So when you're choosing one in the big, you know, either whether it's under cellophane, please don't do that, or if you go to a butcher shop and you see them all stacked up like this fall forward, you can kind of tell the difference. This is going to eat more like a strip steak. This is going to eat a little like a ribeye, like a, a leaner ribeye. So keep that in mind when you are looking for steaks. What you definitely don't want to see, especially if you're going to like a grocery store that has it all under cellophane, you can't really get a chance to look at it outside of the package. Look for this eye. If you ever see this, you don't want that one. Pick a different package, pick a different steak. Like I said before, this piece right here is from the top sirloin. So you're paying a strip price per pound for this section, big section right here to be top sirloin. Now, so the bigger this is, the less valuable this steak is. You pick another one, okay? Don't, don't let the butcher, don't, don't let the grocery store or the butcher or whoever, if you see this round piece right here, that is top sirloin. Don't pay strip price for top sirloin. Look how many strip steaks we got out of that strip loin. And the great thing about doing your own butchery at home is you can make them any way you want. You can make thick ones, you can make thin ones. The possibilities are really endless. Click on the next video and you're gonna see I'm gonna make a beautiful steak au pois. It is a classic French dish. It's gonna be a strip steak with a brandy peppercorn sauce. It's delicious.